she's a bit short. She's great for an armrest, actually. She's absolutely great for an armrest. It's just about right for me in my old age. Emma, you're going to catch a kite. Yes. It's always quite exciting for us because it's going to give this kite a second chance at life. Um, it's got a broken leg. It obviously wouldn't survive in the wild. So we're going to take it to an orthopaedic vet and he's going to do the work. Now, the bad news is because he's cramped space and he's very busy, we can't have a big team filming it. So Emma's going to do all the talking and the work with the vet and I'm going to film it. So everything is likely to be in very soft focus. And I'm playing dead. Here I am playing dead. Here. But I can still bite you. Right, let's shove him in the cage. Oh, it's quite lively. I'm so excited to finally see one of these surgeries. I can't this. be honest, you're excited because you're going with me, aren't you? Come on, let's, let's get a bit of honesty about this. Right. And now comes a dodgy bit when I take the camera from mode. See, I'm right, how do we turn this off? Pull the on. I mean, I mean that looks pretty flat out. It's has it been they play dead. No, they play dead. Do they really? Yeah. yeah. We have a red kite. It's not dead. It's playing dead. But he's bird. fine. Isn't it? What a beautiful bird. Yeah. Fabulous. Oh, are you actually talking to Emma now? You talking? I'm to the talking kite, to maybe? the kite. No. Well, they're both beautiful. There you go. <laughs> my, I suppose my inmost thought is um, just a little bit of concern. I'm not used to the. Um, you know, the anatomy is clearly a little bit different compared to a dog or a cat. Oh, got it. Okay, there we go. The, the, the two frames are nice aligned because of the presence of the pin. We've got these two small pins either side that are providing or rather preventing uh, rotational um, instability. Um, so that looks good. Well, please. Right, we're going to move the kite today. He's had all his fixation off, he's going berserk and he desperately wants to fly. Alright. Come on. Alright, come on, I know. But sadly, while the fixation was on, he developed osteomyelitis. Um, so Emma's still treating him with drugs. How long has he had the drugs for now, Emma? Now it's 10 days. 10 days. Yeah. So he's got another at least two weeks, yeah. ideally. We've been running Wildlife Aid now for 34 years and we've never had kites in before apart from this year we've had this is our fifth kite I think one sadly died because he was so badly injured but the other four or well, the other three have made it back and we hope that he's going to do so as well but we just need to get his leg a bit stronger he's doing very well he's using his leg um, which is good news shush 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 come on yeah 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 hey isn't this nice little boy Isn't that better, eh? Well, a couple more weeks and you'll be back where you belong. Where are you, fella? Are you hiding? Yeah, you're going home. If you did but know it, man, you should be excited. And it's thanks to this man right here. I'm, yes. I will keep out of the way. One trick with any bird of prey, Angus. Yep. Never look up with your mouth open. Because they're going to shit I've in never, you. I've known it happened. It happened once. I didn't say that. The BBC were down here filming. And he had an 80 grand camera. And we came in here. There were seven tawny hours in here. And um, I said, go in, film. But when they get scared, they poo as they fly. Uh, yeah. So he had this camera. He's up there like this. And it shat right in his mouth. He dropped the 80,000 pound camera me. on the floor. And I just laughed. I, I, hate hate this. I warned him. Yeah, where are you going to go? You're going to go in the least... Go down, go down, good boy. That's what I want to do, good fella. In you go, in you go, go on, go on. You're going home to Windsor, so be good. Well, I'm amazed this has turned out to be a great release site. Look at it. Kites flying everywhere. And perhaps one of them is its mate as well. That would be really cool. Come on, fella. Almost there. What does that feel like to you? Uh, go like that? Massively rewarding, I have to say. You know, it really is one of the most rewarding things you can do is take uh, such a beautiful bird and at least have a part in uh, putting it back to where it should be.
you always have to be really nice to vets because they always do us the most amazing favours. I mean, this was quite a big offer. Angus, if that had been a domestic kite, which obviously it wouldn't have been, what yeah. sort of price would that operation have cost? Um, 2000 maybe a little bit more. This is why we love our vets so much and they're so grateful for what they do for us. Now I feel guilty now. You spent all that money. You owe me another meal. <laughs> yeah, God. Okay, tap us next time. Uh, it's cheaper. Cheap, yeah. <laughs> we'll be struggling to get him back for a revisit. Yeah, I don't think he'll come in again. No, yes. very pleased. Excellent. Good. Job done, young man. Job done. Until next time. Yeah. If you like our videos, click on the subscribe button. Every new subscriber means we can save more wildlife.